is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Hey, talking about tomorrow. What we got happening tomorrow? Y'all know what's happening tomorrow. Air Jordan 1, Chicago, lost and found, whatever you want to call them. Actually, Sneakers app is calling them Chicago, so... I don't know where the Lost and Found vibes come from. It fit the shoe. I'm sure it came from somewhere. But um, anyway, Chicago's. Y'all know what they is. They dropping tomorrow. Thankful. I'm thankful that I don't have to worry about trying to cop. I ain't no reseller, so I'm not trying to get a bunch of pairs and stock up on them or nothing crazy like that. I might try on sneakers in my white size because she wanted a pair. But other than that, I'm, I'm Gucci. You feel me? I got my pair. I get to sleep in for the most part. I'm going to try for her pair. If I don't hit... Even if I hit, don't hit, whatever, go back to sleep. I'm good. I got my pair, you feel me? But this place right here where I'm at right now, the athlete's foot, they are doing something unheard of. They doing first come, first serve. All the athlete's foot's in this athlete foot in the city. Everybody else doing raffles, reservations. They doing first come, first serve. What the hell are they doing, shouting? What are they doing? Why are they doing it? This line is going to be crazy. And nine times out of ten, I'm not saying that they do it here. I don't know where they. But nine times out of ten, when you do first come, first serve on a shoe like this that a lot of people want, it's going to be some backdooring, shawty. It's going to be somebody making money off of this release. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. You feel me? I'm just glad I ain't got to be subject to none of that. I paid retail, early uh, access, exclusive access. Y'all seen all that. I might do it on feet. Who knows? I might do it on feet tomorrow or something like that. I know people want me to bring the on feet back, stuff like that. I might do it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's get out of the car, man. Are we still in this car, bro? Oh, just got out of work not too long ago, shout out. So I get like text notifications from them, and they sent me a text to say they're doing first come, first serve for the first come, first serve for the Jordan 1 Chicago. What they do that at? Hey, man, let me see what they got going on here besides that foolery. And after that, I'll probably hit the mall up or something like that. It's the hippie sports down there. We're going to see what's happening today, Shutter. Slim Pickens McGlickens. I wish I would have waited on these, man, because I probably could have got these. I was trying to get an early review up, but I probably could have got these for, like, the low low if I would have waited, man. Oh, well. Got the review up. Man, you were hell clean, bro. I'm surprised. Look at that. Look at the price on these, shawty. Hundred dollar, man. You can't beat that. He clean. He clean the hell, shawty. I ain't mad at them at all. Hundred dollar. I don't really know what the vibes is. I just know I like the colorway and I like the sh materials on them, man. Not bad, shawty. Yeah. Other than that, it's slim pickings. We have to hit the mall or something, shawty. All right. When they try to t do too much on Harachis, man, they mess it up. They look better with OG or more basic colors. Cause what this is, it like it got wet. And left out of, in a, you know what I'm saying? I said, got these Seattle Supersonic co colorway in these right here. The Sean Kemp guy, but look, look, what's up with the water droplets, bro? What's up with the, with the water droplets? I remember some, them All Star Pippins had came out that one year, and they had little water droplets and stuff too. I don't need my um shoes to have pre sweat droplets on them, y'all. I'm good on that. You got Sprite vibes too. Shaq Stumpers. Have y'all seen the, the Superman version of these that they got coming out? Woof! I'm talking about Chad Cam. What ha? Where they got the random Jordans sitting around stuff that ain't Jordans. But then down here they got the actual Jordans and some Jordan nothings mixed in. I don't know if it's because it's getting close to holidays or whatever, but a lot of stuff ain't sitting like it once was um, a few weeks or a couple of months ago. They got these nine boots in here. Stumper action happening. Uh, when the other colorway come out, the broccoli and cheese or whatever, beef and broccoli, when them come out, just give us the damn olives, man. Stop playing. Y'all seen them blue olives they got coming out next year? Track can. Watch out. Man, I was going to ask the question of why. Are they doing first come, first serve? But it's literally only one person working in there, and um, she had a lot going on, so I left her alone. Here you talking about? Hibbit Sports, the belly of the beast. How is this gonna be the belly, the belly of the beast? And uh, this is the original belly of the beast. Like, the Nike Outlet store, the Nike Outlet factory store is also the belly of the beast. This is just the OG. Um, I'm pretty sure City, uh, City Gear Hibbit Sports, um, I'm pretty sure they did a, a raffle for they Jordan ones. 
But this shoe seems like it's a super general release. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like people gonna have pairs on deck, you feel me? Well, I guess this answered my question. These dropped already. Beef and Broccoli Jordan 9 Stumper Guys. Clump, clump. Like I said, man, look at this. Look close at it. If you're getting your ass jumped, somebody with these walk up, I mean, this gonna hurt heads. <laughs> your eyes are gonna get big. You better try your best to get up and run as fast as you can. Cause you might meet your end with these guys pressed against your forehead. He ain't talking about. Anyway, like I said, reiteration time. Please just give us all of regular, all of OG Jordan 9s. That's literally the only Jordan 9 I want. I don't have any more in my collection. That's really just the only one I want. That's the only one I want. Is it? All these Constellation prizes is not it. And these retail for what? $250 or something? $220. Uh-uh. Man, yeah, ID foams. I don't know. I don't even think Ye could have helped out ID phones, man. I honestly do believe this uh, size 1,000, what is it, 14 in the Brotherhood. I, I honestly believe this pair been sent here for since the shoe drop. My bad, size 15. Woof, boats, yachts. You feel me? Please stop making the zeros and six rings. Please, just, just stop it. Stop. The sooner that we admit that these are trash can water, the sooner they'll stop making them, hopefully. I mean, come on. Watch how many people in the comments gonna be mad that I said that. Mike Reese does zero five. Bro, I like does zero, I like spiz ice, and I like six ring, bro. All on five. And to you people, that's your opinion, and you are fully allowed to have that opinion. It just ain't for me, man. Bro, these are actually the Halloween this year's Halloween version of the um, Prestos. And that's the last year's Halloween version. I rocked these around Halloween too. Super comfortable. Anyway, Nike didn't make a big fuss out of these. They didn't put them on sneakers app or nothing. I didn't see them anyway. But and ain't, ain't nothing crazy about the Halloween vibes. Just some green glow looking action. And then they gave you one little spider right here. That little guy right there. See the little spider guy? That's about it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, this was way more Halloweenish than them right there. So, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Man, at that point, champion, hang it up, man. At that point, champion, just hang it up, man. Go back to Walmart, Target, twist them. <laughs> twist the guy. <laughs> twist the guy. Right foot green. He told me. And I dropped him again. I promise y'all I ain't doing this on purpose, shout Boy, Twister guy, shout No. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, you rock these, they gonna play Twister with you. They gonna beat your ass. Right hand, face. Yeah, you talking about left foot, stomach. <laughs> I mean, what we doing, champion? But he look like a Letterman jacket, boy. He look like a varsity jacket, boy, what? Okay, then. I ain't got no word for these. <laughs> I just like, I ain't got nothing to say. No word. Shoot all the retros in the GS. What are you talking about? What, we got the gold one. What are you talking about? The mid patent leather guy. And it's like some of the matted down patent leather. You got the shiny patent leather up here. Then you got the matted. Okay then. Gold guy. GS. I ain't playing with them. The mids and GS, like, they just got the top just got stepped on, boy. Like, flattened out. I don't know. Yeah, they got some dub zeros for the Steelers fan, man. Get you some. Hey, tell me. Got a nice pair of camo pants in a minute. Especially some cargo. Like, is it over with? Is people still rocking camo? Or, or is it is it one of the trends that died? Speaking of that, the brown. Like, is people still on the brown? Because they're brown hit it hard. I don't, I don't care what nobody say. But, um, y'all let me know. You know what I'm saying? I know Travis Scott had everybody rocking the brown, man. But, yeah, brown vibes is clean. Speaking of brown, we finna head to the mall real quick, but speaking of brown, your boy took the big fat L.A. Gante on them uh, L. Jordan 4 I'm on near guys, man. The L.A. Gante. I took on them. A lot of people said it was an easy cop. Honestly, I didn't jump on there right on time because I was at work, and I kinda, it kind of slipped my mind that the drop came, but I did jump on there. 
And it just, it, it was, it was, the shoe, the shoe was, the shoe was out of here. The shoe was gone. You feel me? They said they was trying to combat, combat the bots and they're going to cancel. They're going to cancel a lot of orders that seem suspicious. People ordered more than one shoe, stuff like that. They're going to try to cancel them orders, but I haven't seen a re, a re, any sizes pop up since then. They drop on the 23rd on sneakers, man. So before I hit that resale button, I will try. I will try to go for them one more time. You feel me? Uh, so anyway. Been getting lucky on sneakers lately. Got my trophy room sevens. You know what I'm saying? Hit exclusive access on Chicago. So, you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe my luck my look ain't run out yet for 2022. You feel me? So anyway, I will also be doing an upcoming 2023. Um get should I do should I bring back get them or forget them? The views was really going down last time I was doing that, but maybe I could revitalize get them or forget them and I'll uh, bring it back. Y'all comment below and let me know. Anyway, let's hit this model see what's happening. Ooh, a rare sight. A Jordan 11 actually sitting. Even though it's a women's, you know, you know, but still a Jordan 11 sitting. You don't see that as much, especially a clean one. Now them, you know, I thought them zebra ones sitting last year was, you know, it wasn't nobody really feeling that shoe crazy like that. But these suede guys sitting? I don't know. These things cleansed. Sitting in snipes, man. They don't come my size, so not coppable for me. I don't know if I'll cop anyway, though, because they look like they, they just look, you know, like a women's shoe with the velour suede going on. Now, this is actually just like suede, like regular suede. Yeah, your boy messed with them. They had them Jeter vibes going in, you know what I'm saying? But they clean, though, man. I'm surprised they saying they ain't even going to cabbage. All right, Adidas, your move. Now Kanye getting some of the percentages from all these shoes that you're making, they look like here. Or the ones you're gonna start bringing out that's exactly the same shoe, just different name. Oh, we got colorways in the uh, ID phones, bro. We got the muted gray action going. Yeah, you talking about it. But these Superman spaceships, though, I just want y'all to know. You seen the movie Man of Steel? You know these look like Superman spaceships. Huh? You talking about? I got the blacked out, the murdered out guy. He talking about. What y'all, what y'all doing with the ID phone, man? Comment below and let the kid know what's happening. He told me. So, Puma, I'm very upset with you. You did not have to straight up Jack Nike for the uh, the uh, ACG Moab swag, man. Come on, bro. Have you ever seen a pair of ACG Moabs? You know that they straight swagger Jack. Puma, y'all better than that, man. But they got the uh, Seattle Supersonic, um. Air Max 90 guy, he ain't talking about I don't know why the yellow is, you know, so bright right now, but the air bubble is like orange. What y'all doing, man? Everything should have been the same yellow. And you could have got you a, a Sean Kemp jersey, he ain't talking about Or um, Kevin Durant Ricky jersey or something, man, he ain't talking about All right, now they get out of control with the craft inside out Jordan 1s, man. He got patent leather on the toe box. Got suede, patent leather, but I like the laces, I like the laces. Some some parts about the shoe I like, some but you know, it's track and water. But if anybody caught the I ain't hanging on you, he ain't talking about it. It's different. I like I like different. Then they hit you with the low, you know what I'm saying? Which is almost identical, but you got the navy on the toe, and then you got the uh patent leather on the shoe. You got suede actually. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at these either. When I say I ain't mad at something, that means they look straight, but I wouldn't cop. That, that's what I mean when I say I ain't mad at something. And green lows ain't looking bad either. Prefer the OG cut, though. This here right here. Not the Zoom Comfort. Oh, uh, Shadow Guy, you talking about? With the suede on them guys, you talking about? But I'm not digging the Zoom Comfort at all, bro. I thought it was all right at first. The more I see them, the more I look at them, I'm like, no, nah, shawty. Keep them. I actually like this shoe, bro. I almost bought this one like two or three times, bro. It give me Virgil vibes, and then just the way the shoe is constructed, bro, and the color blocking. It's dope, man, but I got too many shoes. I gotta, at this point, I gotta really be selective, man. You talking about? Still got this size 13 in here, man. I promise you, if they had that 12, I would have been jumping on them, but they the same 13, but sitting here forever. Oh, yeah, this is DTLR, by the way. I don't know if I said which store it was. Not the Dunk Low C. Not the dunk low six size thirteen guy. He talking about. I don't know what these is. I know the reverse colorway of this is the one that everybody like. It's like a reverse or whatever. But uh, no, these it, man. 
Don't load. You don't see that too much. You know what I'm saying? Don't highs. Now you do see that. On the other hand, oh man, they got the they got the uh, Barclays and the Bo Jackson in there. Huh? Phoenix Sun colorway, Auburn Bo Jacksons. Yeah, I remember for a little while, like stuff like this, especially like right after the uh, pandemic or right after the shutdown or whatever, when stores first start opening back up, shoes like this would never sit. Like these things were selling out, bro. And, uh, and the King Griffey's too, like all like the OG colorways, all this stuff was gone, bro. I tell you, hype moves mysteriously, bro. When people got to sit home at the house and they can't go nowhere. That one the most shoes sell. <laughs> bro, I know I got a little flat for talking about this shoe last time. It was at least three people in the comment were like, Reed, you tripping them hard, man. They comfortable, man. You need to put them joints down. I ain't gonna count. I like to be comfortable, bro. But I gotta like the way the shoe look too. And these look like he look like some uh salvation army goodwill special guy, man. I'm just, I'm just saying. These shoes look like they've been thrown away and then somebody tried to bring them back. It's just my opinion though, you feel me? Or one thing you know about Sevens, man, especially if it's a general release, you ain't got to worry about them selling out. I'll be able to get them for retail or under retail, which is cool to me because Seven is my favorite joint, you feel me? So I guess Nike didn't do, pull a Adidas on them and was like pull them all out the stores. They are going on sale though. They are going on sale. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think I agree with Nike for dropping Kyrie, bro. I mean, I honestly don't. But we're going to see what's going to happen. I think not, I think just like they letting Kyrie come back to the game, they should let him come back to Nike. You know, a little suspension, whatever. Da, da, da. Come back, man. Get your money, my boy. And our chance got this little Reebok question. Uh, Pat going on. What it is? Panini? What you talking about? These actually clean in hell, boy. I don't know. These don't. I, I'll drop a shoe, sir. I will drop a shoe. These clean though. I ain't mad at these at all, man. They got a suede toe, and then they got a patent leather ear well. I ain't mad at these, man. What y'all thinking? There's another uh, Panini guy right here. Whatever that is, y'all comment below and let me know. Good ass leather on these thing, man. Buttery, he ain't talking about. And then you got the uh, prismatic looking, you know what I'm saying? Zebra, blue zebra. Well, I don't know who came up with that, but it look crazy. Futurist, the age I'm up. Been seeing a lot of these lately. Don't know how I'm feeling about them. Nah, I don't think so. Not quite track can water, but I'm good. Other than that, I ain't gonna lie. JD Sport usually have some kicks, but they slim pickings McGlickenstein off in there, guy. You feed me. Got the lemons in there, guy, too. What you talking about? Lem things. Yeah, man. Back at the crib. You feel me? What's happening with y'all? The mall. It was a hype. Not a lot of stuff sitting. Uh, kind of slim pickings in that guy, if you will. You feel me? Um, did get a package today. Box real quick. Y'all ain't gonna care about this, but a lot of people in the comments been saying, Rich, you keep forgetting to get it. Every every uh video you put up, you forget to grab them. I'm like, shout it. I'm glad I waited. Because yeah, they had a sale going on for Nike members. And I got these guys for a really good price. Before I show them, let me show you what they're replacing. So, I go to work now. I drive trucks, dusty trailers, uh, do a lot of walking and stuff like that. I deliver, make deliveries and stuff. So, uh, shoes get beat. Look at these guys. These are my work boot, bro. Look, now, just, just, just look at them. Just look at them, bro. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that opening right now. Them thing talking to you. Them thing talking to you. I'm gonna wash my hands. Look at this. I'm gonna wash my hands after touching anything. Look at it. I ain't even realized the actual. They was opening all the way up to my socks. I ain't even. Woo! They been needing to be replaced. <laughs> I don't know what took me so long, bro. I buy so many sneakers. You would think I'd be like, you know what? I need some work boots. Let me just go buy them right away. But. I'm taking my shoes off like Mr. Rogers right now, too. Y'all comment below if y'all remember Mr. Rogers. Now I got a lot of young folks in here. Taking my shoes off. <laughs> Beautiful day in the neighborhood, face sad. Um, but I replaced them with the exact same boot. Looks so much. Whew, it looks so much different brand new, don't it? This looks. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. So soon. 
this is gonna look like this. You know what I'm saying? It even look like it sit up taller. These are sad. These are these are depleted. They don't they don't want to do no work no more. And then I go ahead and get these. Got these for got these babies for like sixty sixty dollars. They was on sale for eighty. I think the retail price is like a hundred and forty dollars or something like that. They was on sale for eighty. Put an access code. I think it was access twenty or something like that for a membership. Nike membership access, I got these things for 60 buckaroos, man. So I'm glad I waited instead of having the impulse buying and buying them while I was out. I waited. Got me some new work boots. Whew, I smell like leather. Freshness. Anyway, new work boot action. Anyway, what do y'all think about the athlete's foot, man? Releasing these shoes. These Jordan 1 Chicago, a.k.a. Lost and Found guys. Releasing them to the public First come, first serve, line in front of the store. I got a feeling they're going to sell out way quicker than people think they is because I mean, somebody done already sold them. I, that's it me, though. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But every time I see first come, first serve on a really sought out the shoe, it be some, it be some, some of them managers and stuff, they be like, you know what, let me go and get my money out of this. You feel me? So I don't know. But anyway, Took a L on the I'm, I'm Ears. Hopefully, those will be in the collection soon. And after the I'm, I'm Ears, it's only one more shoe that I want for the rest of the year. Even though we only got like a month and a half left. It's the Cardinal Air Jordan 7s. They're going for a pretty decent price on GOAT right now. I can get them for like $230 before it fees and all that stuff. I think they're going to go down even lower than that. And I might wait to, to get them for retail and do a pickup vlog. I want to get an early review out of the shoe, but I might wait for retail and just do a pickup vlog. Go to the mall and just grab them because I feel like they're going to sit. Every other Jordan 7, especially general release, sit on shelves. They do not sell out. So I might just hold out and just do a pickup vlog for this shoe. What y'all think? Old-fashioned pickup vlog. I might even hit up T. Ward. I'm sure he ain't going to buy that shoe. I got to hit him up. I don't know. I, I know he liked OG, all OG sneakers and stuff so but knowing him if the shoe sit he probably gonna wait to get it for a lower price he got a Nike plug he can get half off of shoes that sit and stuff like that I think he still got that um and speaking of T Ward yes that's still my that's still my boy T Ward is still my guy he ain't went nowhere everybody in the comments what happened to T Ward nothing happened to him we work different work schedules I talk to him all the time he's still my partner you feel me we just ain't doing videos together because we our, our schedules ain't lining up. So we, we talked about trying to get some videos up, trying to do some old school throwback Mike Rich vlogs with um with T Ward, but you know what I'm saying? The, the schedule's gotta meet. You know what I'm saying? I talk to him on the phone all the time, I just don't see him all the time. You feel me? So anyway, any comments that you have about how they how they releasing these shoes, uh, are you going after them? Y'all excited for tomorrow? Let me go ahead and show mine before we leave. I guess I can go ahead and just these are dropping tomorrow! And shout out to Nike Sneakers for the exclusive asset on these things, man. Because your boy, the kid, got them already. I know y'all tired of seeing them. I ain't never been so tired of seeing a shoe in my life. Tired of seeing these. Y'all tired of seeing these yet? You just want your pair. You don't want to think about it no more. You just want to get your pair in hand. And you don't want to think about it no more. Woo! Fresh from Nike, bro. Woo! Fresh from Nike. Ooh, they bless the kid. You feel me? But like you said, I'm so every time I open Instagram, I see this shoe. I still love it, but I'm tired of seeing it. I can't wait for the drop tomorrow and it can be finally over. People who cop gonna cop. And it's gonna cause I'm tired of seeing this shoe every time I open social media. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? The I'm I'm in there, I, ain't no other shoe. Not even the 11s, nothing like that. That I seen more than this shoe right here. And speaking of the Cherry 11s, I know y'all probably like, Rich, why you ain't saying nothing about the Cherry 11s? Did you try for, for uh, the shock drop and all that? I knew they were shock dropping. I didn't try. I don't want that shoe. I don't want it. Only uh, only 11s I want is OG stuff, man. I kept my brands. I kept my... Um, and I don't even want Legend Blues, y'all. If y'all been paying attention to my Instagram reels, you realize I don't even want Legend Blues no more. That shoe just messed up so quick. And they just brought Lowe's out, and I'm good on it. But, um, Concords, Breads, Space Jams, and I got my, uh, IE Low, uh, OG Black and Reds too. Like, it's just, I don't have to have every, uh, Holiday 11. I haven't bought a Holiday 11 since, um, Breads. Last time I bought a Holiday 11 for myself, you feel me? So anyway, y'all comment below anything that y'all want to comment below. I'm finna end the video for this time. Oh, Gambles. Gamma 11s. They bring Gamma 11s. I, I, they getting things gave me a headache back in 2000, what that was, 12 or whenever they dropped. I need Gamma 11s too. 
I need got me 11. 2013. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can't become part of Rich Nation. Stand out the wheel to the moon on them. Hey, Tom back. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Go on. Mike, Rich, your height just kicks. Jordan, six, eight, and nine, fit. How does trans clank, clank, cleanse, bless? Yes, I'm rich. M, I K E, you know me. OG.